Well, I thought it would be interesting today if I sat in my fireplace and made a video. Hi, friends. It's a pretty big fireplace, huh? <laughs> Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Uh, I have to make an easy video today because um, just sitting and talking to you is a much easier editing video for me than making a tour video or some video that actually has some interesting and valuable information in it. And the reason is because I've been going to the dentist some more. Both Lynn and I have been going to the dentist. And I hope you're not as tired of me talking about how much it costs at the dentist here in Mexico. As uh, I hope you're not as uh, tired of that as I am tired of going to the dentist. <laughs> but we have both been to the dentist some more. And uh, Lynn is getting her partials redone and uh, a partial plate she has one both uh, top and the bottom and you know I'm making this video with my iPad and I have a new iPad Air and I'm not sure where the camera is am I looking at you I have to point at the camera to see where it's at It's over there. <laughs> so, sorry, I might edit that out. Or since I'm making an easy video today, I might not edit that out. Anyway, um, she's getting her partial redone because um, she's had some decay in a tooth and they extracted that tooth um, about 10 days ago. And when they got ready to do a bridge yesterday, they took the crown off of the tooth in back that the bridge was going to hook to and found enough decay there that we made the decision to have an extraction for that also. And instead of having a bridge, just redo the uh, partial plates and um, add a tooth to the partial plates. Anyway, she's getting uh, metal partials both up and lower, and those are 3,500 pesos each. Um, I didn't calculate that into U.S. dollars, but I do have some other U.S. dollar uh, amounts for you. Her extraction, are you sitting down? <laughs> to have a tooth pulled here in Mexico at our dentist, I used my Capital One debit card. Now, if you watch my videos about banking uh, as an expat, you know that's how I pay for things here in Mexico is with my Capital One debit card. And I calculated it out, what she paid. We paid for it in pesos, but I'm charged in dollars my exchange rate was 19.1, and I checked the exchange rate right at the time, it was 19.3, and I'm not going to do the math for you there, but I calculated that as one penny in the spread of the exchange rate per hundred dollars, which is nothing, it's like a thousandth of a percent. Anyway, her extraction was $20.71. That's what she paid to have a tooth pulled. Now, I also had a tooth pulled. Um, and you may notice that, I don't know if you can tell, my face is a little uh, swollen over here. Uh, mine was a little more involved. It was a molar with three roots. And of the roots... Um, Kind of like fish hooks. They go down and like that. Anyway, uh, after about uh, 40 minutes of trying to pull my tooth, uh, she gave up and called the oral surgeon in. And he spent an hour grinding on my jawbone to get the roots out. So, 
a um, couple of hours in the chair, my jaw still uh, tight from having my mouth open that long. But we're talking about the price. I don't know how much that would cost in the United States to have an oral surgeon come in and do what he had to do to make everything all right for me. And by the way, uh, that was yesterday and I'm pain free today. I've got a prescription for antibiotics which I'm taking and I got a prescription for pain pills. I took one pain pill when I bought them at the uh, uh, pharmacia, but I haven't taken one since because it's fine. Anyway, again, my Capital One debit card, my phone dinged, and my charge for having an oral surgery was $92.66. And uh, even if your math hurts, <laughs> that price will make you smile. Uh, as I said, I'm making an easy video today because um, we're both uh, um, kind of down in the mouth. <laughs> Was that an expression I should use? And I'm going to go make some soup, some chicken and rice soup. Um, I may throw something else in here if I find it floating around on my iPad uh, to make the video a little longer, but otherwise, have a great day. Hi there. It's several hours later, and I just came back from being out and about. I decided to make an addendum to my expat banking videos, the two I've done in the last week. A subscriber, a commenter, suggested that I should be using my credit card instead of my debit card here in Mexico because I would get cash back. <clears throat> so I've done a little research this afternoon I took my Capital One uh, credit card. Now this is not my debit card that I've been talking about. It's a Capital One, let me show it to you. It's a Capital One silver card. I don't know what, looking on there to make sure my number was. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't, didn't see my number. Uh, this is what the debit card looks like. And this is what the credit card looks like. Now, they're both Capital One. I guess that's called Capital One Quicksilver. And it's not Capital One Quicksilver One. It's just Capital One Quicksilver. And I think you have to have a little better credit rating to get that one, um, this one. Anyway, let me tell you what happened. I've always used my debit card because I just used to pay in cash after living here in Mexico all these years. It never occurred to me to be using my credit card. Uh, so I went to Walmart and I bought some groceries and I checked my exchange rate and it's just the same as the debit card. The current exchange rate is 19.51, and I got 19.5. So it cost me nothing in terms of the exchange rate spread to use my credit card. But I get 1.5% cash back. So if I spent $100 at Walmart, which I didn't, I'd get $1.50 back. Um, I think over the course of a month, that would be worth doing. So now, I'm not just not paying to change my dollars to pesos, they're paying me. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Um, if you're the subscriber that left me the comment that brought that to my attention, thank you very much. And 
since I got to thinking about that, I've now applied for another bank card that I will use in the United States. I won't use it here because it doesn't, uh, it charges international transaction fees, which Capital One does not. But it's going to give me 5% back on certain cash purchases, one of them being gas. And um, driving a 40-foot diesel motorhome, that could be a big deal. <laughs> Plus, they give me uh, $150 back if I spend $500 in the first three months. And I guarantee you, we're going to the States uh, in next month, early in the month. And uh, getting in the motorhome and going from Tucson to Rapid City, South Dakota, to Portland, Oregon, and back down through California to Arizona. And I guarantee you, in the first three months, I will spend more than $500 on gas diesel fuel actually, but yeah, so I'll get a $150 bonus for doing that. But anyway, we're still talking about Capital One in Mexico. And by the way, I'm going to put a link down here. I didn't know this when I made the first two videos, but I can actually get uh, 20 bucks for a refer your friend. There's a, there's a link down here. If you're thinking about applying for a Capital One account, doesn't make me 20 bucks. That'd be great. I'm not making these videos for the money. I hope you figured that out if you've watched 230 some of my videos that, that this is not about the money. But hey, I'll take the 20 bucks. <laughs> anyway, I then went to a pharmacy and I bought some meds. Now, I was concerned that uh, when I did it at Walmart, the receipt said uh, that they use Banamex. And I know that Banamex gives me a good exchange rate when I go to the ATM. When I went to the pharmacy, uh, when it printed out, it said Santander, so I was concerned about that. But I calculated it again, and the exchange rate using my credit card was 19.5 once again. So again, they're paying me 1.5% instead of me paying them. How great is that? <laughs> Well, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, I hope you're not tired of listening to me go about, about how much it costs to go to the dentist in Mexico, but I thought it was important to come back with this addendum to the expat banking, because if you use a credit card that has no international transaction fee, and you get a cash back deal, you can actually get paid to transfer your dollars to pesos. Or if you're living in another country, it would work the same way. As long as you have a card like Capital One that doesn't charge international transaction fees. And you have to pay off your credit card every month. Don't use it for cash advances because the interest starts right away. But pay off your credit card every month because if you have to start paying 15 or 16 or 26 percent interest on your balance, forget about the cash back. That's what they're hoping you will do. Pay it off every month ahead of the due date in full. And uh, you can get paid to be transferring your money from one country to another. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.